Good morning and welcome to this uh, Our Lady of Walsingham, Rays of Light, Rainbows of Peace, Divine Will Prayer Cynical. We are continuing with the October 2014 conference that Father Celso hosted at the National Shrine of Our Lady of La Salette outside of Boston, Massachusetts. It's in Attleboro, Massachusetts. And the conference name was Jesus Christ, King of the Universe. Um, he went over the Divine Will writings with Louisa and also introduced uh, for the first time the uh, printings of the rounds of prayer that he and Father Bucci and others have so diligently worked on to help us pray um, as Louisa was taught to pray with Jesus and Mary. And so today's session, um, I was trying to go in order in the same order of the conference that was there, but apparently this session what we're going to do today would have been before the last session we did last week, but that's okay. Um, it's it's a, an interview. It, it may be a little bit difficult to hear, so I ask your indulgence and your grace just to ask the Holy Spirit to help you tune in because um, what was going on was that Marina uh, was up on stage and she was the translator for Father Bucci, who was coming to us on uh, screen through Skype. And as you know, sometimes the, uh, you know, the internet airwaves and such are not always that clear. So, uh, but I can tell you from uh, being there personally, Father Bucci was so happy to greet us and he has the brightest blue eyes and the sweetest smile and may he rest in the peace of Christ as he went on in his transition just this past year um, in 2020, I believe. So without further ado, we'll begin our opening prayer, uh, the chant, and then we'll move into the interview, the question and answer session that Father uh, Bucci was able to give to the, the group, Fiat. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. By the Sacred Heart of Jesus, and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, one with Louisa, the little daughter of the Divine Will, I enter into the Holy Divine Will. Come, Divine Will, Come beat in my every heartbeat, come breathe in my every breath, come pray, adore, and reign in me, in the name of everyone and everything, past, present, and future. In, with, through, and for Jesus, Mary, and Louisa. In, with, and for all. That all may be for the glory of God and the good of all souls. Giving to God as if all lived in the most holy divine will. United with creation, redemption, and sanctification, praying as one in that one eternal act. For the kingdom to come, 
rain on earth. Fiat. Marina there, right? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay, okay. Hi, Marina. How are you? Very well indeed. Ciao. Okay, Marina, tu ti occuperai della traduzione, giusto? Sì. Ok, perfetto. Marina, parlo da Marina. Salve, padre. Eh, la traduzione non l'hai fatta nel tuo libro di diretti. È già, è già fatta padre eh? dice è che è già pronta è pronta, è pronta avanti. sono le riflessioni e pratiche già pronte e disponibili da anni padre parlo un po' più chiaro Marina sembra che eh, voi avete bisogno di un microfono un po' più potente. Padre Bernardino, tu riesci a, a sentirlo bene, sì? Io sì. Ok, ok. E eh, lo vedete bene, sì? Sì. Ok, lo ringrazio la strada di Luisa che c'è qui a fare da me. La vediamo. We can ah, see the statue ah, of Luisa, eh. we can see him. Un attimo. Oh. Prego. Così dovrebbe andare meglio. Benissimo. Ok, così dovrebbe andare un tantino meglio. Marina? Sì? Dai un, un saluto qui da parte mia a tutti quanti. Eh? Yes, Father Bucci is here and he would like to extend his greeting, his affection to all of you. And he's sorry he couldn't be here present today. In a, yeah, in a few days, he has to undergo surgery on his uh, left eye. A Roma, Yeah, he has to go to Rome for his surgery, so he asks for prayer. Pregate per me tutti. Yeah, pregate per me. Pray for me, please, he says. Certo, Padre. Tutti preghiamo per voi. Speriamo che tutto vada bene. Yes, we hope everything goes well, as he says. Okay, so Marina, uh, whenever you prefer we may start... With uh, some uh, question for uh, Padre Bernardino, and, uh, or if you want to ask something uh, in particular, and uh, so Thank easy and available to reply to you, okay? Okay. Um, he's asking us, you know, we can start, and I have here a set of questions that Father also gave me that we can present to him. Uh, ho qui una serie di domande. La prima è generale, generica, ma è un cappello importante che vogliamo chiedere a Padre Bucci the first question that uh, we pose here to Father Bucci is, is the general question is the one million dollar question what is the living in the divine will Padre Bucci ci può dire in, in pochi secondi in sintesi che cos'è il vivere nella divina volontà Yes, I said this many times. To live in the divine will. It is not just doing the will of God. All do the will of God. Many do the will of God. Whether wanted or permissive will of God. Tutti i santi hanno fatto la volontà di Dio. All the saints Anzi, have non done. Hanno realizzato la propria. All the saints have done the will of God, even though they may not have renounced completely their own will. But they have done the will of God. Invece chi vive la volontà di Dio. On the other hand, chi la vive. One who lives in the divine will according to the writings of Luisa. 
deve rinunciare liberamente must renounce freely alla propria volontà his or her own will in modo che il Signore possa fare di quest'anima in such a way that the Lord can do of this soul his masterpiece perché la volontà di Dio è la santità delle santità in fact the will of God is the sanctity of sanctities sono le anime che faranno i santi the souls who live in the divine will are the souls who will make who will produce the saints e sono anime silenziose and they are quiet souls che nessuno conosce e nessuno sa souls that no one knows no one knows about them vive la, la divina volontà to live the divine will to live in the divine will è un dono specialissimo di Dio is a, is a most special gift from God e bisogna chiederlo continuamente and one must ask for it continuously e bisogna fare un cammino di fede and one must go through a journey of faith ora usurro se una nella vita in queste condizioni now if a soul il Signore la gratifica o la gratificherà if a soul lives in and with these dispositions easily the Lord will grant her what she asks e tutto deve essere sottoposto e verificato dall'autorità sacerdotale and must everything must be verified uh, by the uh, priestly authority basta così o voglio sentire il piano is this enough for this uh, question so important so general or would you like me to add something else c'è una domanda padre un attimo che gliela giro sì C'è una, una signora che è nuova della divina volontà, quindi non si spaventi della domanda, però si chiede, questa divina volontà è un altro nome di Dio, è un attributo di Dio, è una persona di Dio? Cos'è la divina volontà? Non è un, è un attributo, è, è un, sono diverse queste cose di Dio. Ora, la divina volontà signore l'ho detto già prima significa rinunciare alla propria e accettare in sé il vivere non fare sì. il vivere la volontà di Dio sì padre eh, la cioè signora... praticamente la persona umana viene purificata in tutto in tutto un momento e, so, e finora soltanto una creatura ha vissuto la mia volontà ok eh, un attimo padre la, la legge santissima un attimo padre deve dare il tempo di tradurre deve dare il tempo di tradurre padre Bucci dopo di lei, dopo secoli il Signore ha scelto un'altra creatura per dare questo dono a tutti quanti ed è questa il misapplicamento padre, una raccomandazione deve darmi il tempo di tradurre adesso tradurrò eh, c'è bisogno di tempo, di frasi brevi altrimenti non possiamo Now I'm going to translate what he said. <laughs> it said, uh, as I said this before, I think he, um, he took the question in a different way. He says, it, of course, it's not a person, it's not a name of God. It's not an attribute of God. Uh, it's not a person of God. Then we'll say what, what it is. Okay, now I'm going to uh, translate what he added. It's, he just uh, restated what the will of God, with living in the divine will is, on the part of creatures that is to surrender our own human will so that the divine will can operate in us not as law not as disposition but as life 
the very engine that animates our own acts. However, your questions was your question was different was what is the divine will of God uh, the divine will in God rather than for the creature? What is the divine will for God? The divine will is the life of God. The divine will is the engine, the life that governs the relationship among the three divine persons. So it is the, by the divine will that the Father generates the Son. It is by the divine will. It is the act of the divine will uh, by which the Son is generated and the Holy Spirit proceeds. So the will of God in God is the life of the Holy Trinity. Now, the will of God in the creature must be our life. Ho tradotto, mi sono permessa, Padre, di tradurre e anche di eh, aggiungere qualche altra cosa. Hai tutto il libro di tutto. Ok, 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 tanto sei, sei esperto su quelle cose. E bisogna spiegare a quella signora... It is important to explain to our sister, he says, le tre ere di Dio. The three uh, eras, the three ages. Abbiamo l'era della creazione. Okay, the three fiats too. Then we have the fiat and the era of creation. Dove non c'è stato bisogno di nessuna creatura. And in order to do the creation, God had no need of uh, any creature. He created man from nothing, from the soil of the oh. earth. Con peccato inizia l'era della redenzione, because, del riscatto dell'uomo dal peccato. Because sin was committed, then there was the necessity of the second era, the era of redemption, that is, to redeem men from the state of sin. E qui c'era bisogno di una creatura che accettasse questo piano di Dio. And therefore, in this case, there was the need of a creature who would accept fully this plan of God. Because, be, uh, because a creature had sinned, therefore a creature was needed to accept this plan of God for humanity. And our, our Lord God chose a little girl from Nazareth by the name of Mary. Ora, dopo la redenzione, e venne la redenzione con Cristo, no? La croce, then, la sofferenza, l'umanità di Cristo. And then we know that dopo quest'era è venuta l'era della divina volontà. Un attimo, padre. Then we know that through the acceptance of Mary, the, the incarnation took place and redemption took place. Then, after redemption, we have this new era, this new fiat, for the establishment of the will of God among creatures. Prego, Padre. Come nel Vecchio Testamento, tutti i profeti e i santi aspiravano alla, alla venuta di una creatura che avrebbe collaborato con Dio, See, just as in the Old Testament, the patriots and the prophets were asking and praying and longing for the Redeemer and for salvation, nella dopo, dopo Cristo, tutti i santi della Chiesa Then, hanno pregato in the same way, e hanno implorato da Dio la venuta di un'altra creatura che accettasse la sua volontà in pieno. Then in the same way, after the coming of Christ, all the saints of the New Testament, of uh, the saints of the Church, Uh, whether knowingly or not, have been praying and asking for the will of God to be fully accomplished in them and for God to fulfill the sanctity, uh, complete sanctity, in one creature. So, uh, Jesus says in the writings, all the saints have been praying for you, Louisa. Have been praying for my sanctity to be fulfilled and completed in you. So, all the prayers of the church are addressed and pointed toward the completion of the sanctity of the living in the divine will which has its prototype in Luisa. Dopo i passaggi sono passati i tempi di Dio il Signore ha scelto un'altra creatura e l'ha scelto da Corato. 
Well then, the Lord has chosen this preacher. And this uh, preacher that was chosen by God was chosen in, in this little town in southern Italy. Uh, and her name is Luisa Piccarreta. Sono molto belle le parole che il Signore le rivolge. The words that um, uh, Jesus speaks to Luisa are very beautiful in this sense. He says to her, Il Signore le dice, ho girato, ho rigirato il mondo. I went around all the world. I looked at all creatures. Tutte le creature. Non ho trovato una più piccola e più fragile di te. I did not find anyone more smaller and more fragile than you are. Ha tirato il mio cuore e ti ho scelta. In your weakness, your fragility, um, attracted my heart and therefore I chose you. Voglio da questa cosa sapere? Allora vado con un'altra domanda. Sì. La domanda... È rimasta soddisfatta la signora? Yes, sì, la signora è rimasta soddisfatta. La domanda che, the question I'm going to ask to Father Bucci, and it's reinstating another qu questions that we asked already, but uh, we'll ask him, how is the living in the divine world different from how the saints have lived in the past? Com'è che il vivere nella divina volontà è diverso dal vivere dei santi del passato? I santi hanno fatto la volontà di Dio. The Ma non hanno rinunciato alla propria. The saints have non done the will of God. Alla volontà dei superiori, della Chiesa. But have Ma not completely renounced their own will. volontà era integra, non la cedevano. They acted, the engine that uh, produced their own acts was, was their own human will. So they acted by human virtues. So I'll continue. While well, in the living in the divine will, the engine that animates our acts as we surrender our human will to God is the divine will. Therefore, divine acts are produced not by our own merit, but by virtue of the divine will operating in the creature as life. So it is a divine will. An example, we can have it from Padre Pio. Padre Pio si è sottomesso alla volontà della Chiesa, all'obbedienza dei superiori, ma non ha ceduto alle cose ingiuste quando gli volevano togliere i soldi. Dice no, voi non potete fare questo. Okay. Uh, padre Pio surrendered to the church. In maniera libera e anche potente e forte. Padre Pio surrendered, his, uh, he was always obedient to his superiors, but he, he did keep his human will. So he acted by his own human will and by the virtues of his own human will. Yes, sì, va bene. I santi eh, hanno questa linea, eh. Eh, un, uh, Luisa si assomiglia un poco, proprio ma lontanamente, a Santa Veronica Giuliani, soltanto, come mistica, okay. ma per il resto è nuova. Father says that Luisa is new in the church, there can be some similarities with Saint Veronica Giuliani, I'm not familiar with her, but... Luisa is a new gift in the church. Non si può paragonare ad altri mistici. Se si fa questo, si cade in errore. So Luisa cannot be compared to other mystics. Uh, if one does this, it's a mistake. Because Luisa is completely new. Ok, padre, allora le uh, chiederò la terza domanda sulla lista, va bene? I will proceed okay. with the third question. Un'altra domanda. Sì, facciamo. La... Sono contenti delle risposte? Sì. 
Okay, the third question that Father Celso gave me here to ask is, how does one pray the round in the divine will? Come si pregano i giri nella divina volontà? Ah, i giri, i santi giri. <ride> eh, praticamente uno vive i giri della divina volontà pensando a lui che si prega e, e, e lo prega e si prega a lui e dei giri un uomo può pensare ai sacramenti per esempio no? pensa ai doni dei sacramenti della grazia di Dio e con questi doni si eleva a Dio ma non con la sua forza ma con la stessa volontà di Dio sì. il Signore ha dato questo dono e Dio questo dono lo rilancia verso di te ok il Father è saying that in the will of God, as we enter the will of God, we find in this new environment, God with all the acts that God does. And these acts are outside of time and space. Indeed, we even find time and space as creatures of God. And so then, as we are in the midst of these acts, we go around all these acts as little gifts that we take and we make our own. And we can place our I love you. We can adore and honor as we did today so many times and last night. So going around in the acts of the divine will is precisely to, first of all, enter the divine will and then be in the presence of all the acts of the divine will, past, present, and future. It is as if, let's imagine that this large room is the divine will, ideally. And every molecule of air, un attimo, every molecule of air <laughs> is an act of the divine will. So, one molecule is the conception of Our Lady. Another one is the incarnation of the Word. Then we find the creation of the Son. Then we find Jesus preaching the Sermon on the Mount. Then we found a flower, the creation of a flower. All the acts, whether in creation, redemption, sanctification, the institution of the sacraments, all the order of grace, all the graces of the Holy Spirit. So, being inside the room... We cannot help but, but breathing all these molecules, breathing all these acts, therefore possessing them. And we make them our own. They become part of our life. And we breathe them out. We give them back to the divine will. The, Jesus says there's no other way of praying in the divine will other than going around in the acts of the divine will. Holy Mass is the most perfect round in the divine will. It is to enter the incarnation, um, the preaching, the passion, the sacrifice, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ is not to participate or assist at Holy Mass, but to live the life of Christ within us. The Holy Rosary is a, a most wonderful round in the divine will because with the help of our Mother, bead by bead, we enter all the acts, uh, the joyful, the sorrowful. We can even uh, enter, we can pray the acts of creation. We can enter, we can multiply our rosary in many different ways. So that's what the Father is saying. By the gift of God, uh, we are called to participate in all the acts of the divine will and place our. I you, I honor you, I adore you, I recognize
power of God with his own immensity. The will of God uh, is an act called the sky, and that sky is the immensity of God. So as we love God in the sky, we give back to him his own immensity. That would be the example that uh, Father gives us. Jesus said this. I enclosed within my mind, within my life, in my work, sì, un attimo che lo traduco dice Gesù stesso uh, Jesus himself did a continuous round uh, toward the Father so basically Jesus himself went around uh, all creatures and divinized and sanctified all the acts of creatures. So he constituted himself, as he said in the writings, breath for each breath of creature, love for each love of creature, work for each work of creature. And in that doing so, he uh, gave to the Father the love, the adoration, the recognition, the thanksgiving on the part of each creature. So that's the activity of the humanity of Christ. Ora, la divina volontà, che vive i figli di questa divina volontà, consiste in questo, di racchiudere in sé tutto il creato, tutta la bellezza di Dio, tutte le verità espresse, tutte le prerogative della Chiesa, sacrificarle per la stessa sacrificazione di Dio e proiettarle verso di Lui. Hence, Father says, the go, going around and doing the rounds of the divine will means to enclose within us the whole of creation, all the acts of redemption, all the acts of sanctification, make them our own and give them back to God, return all these uh, acts of God to God uh, in a, with his own glory. And that would be a perfect requital toward God from the creature. <laughs> Sono soddisfatti di questa creazione o no? Allora, no, uh, 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 Father is asking whether we can move to another question. Okay. Adesso le chiedo un'altra cosa, Padre. Sì. Però questa gliel'abbiamo già chiesta. Um, is Luisa Picreta different from the saints according to Jesus? Uh, Luisa è differente dagli altri santi secondo Gesù? Beh, differente no? la santità non si definisce da nessuno di... è unica è yes. Jesus says Luisa is unique it's not only different, it's unique and I think we already touched upon this Luisa ha vissuto la santità come dono supremo di Dio e che giorno per giorno la, la, la rilanciava verso, verso di lui. Luisa è la vittima della divina volontà, colei che si dona completamente, totalmente, e, e a tutta di Dio, tutta di Dio. So, Luisa... Non c'era nulla in lei che potesse sfuggire alla volontà di Dio, sì. il suo corpo, la sua vita, le sue parole, i suoi gesti, tutto era di Dio che lei rilanciava verso Dio. Sì. Luisa was, uh, belonged completely to God, she didn't keep anything for herself, the whole of her life was of God, so she surrendered completely to him and her life was a co continuous gift that she received from God and returned to God. So that's why Jesus could mold her into something completely new, the sanctity of living in the divine world. Many people who approached Luisa, nuns and other people, some people almost had the impression. Yeah. Uh, 
many people had the impression that uh, she was she did not belong to this earth. So much was she uh, immersed and grows in contemplation and uh, in the things of God, in spiritual things. They saw an a special aura around her. And, uh, che non attirava gente lei era la, la santa del silenzio and she was della the, solitudine and she, uh, però she was the saint of solitude solitude and silence uh, she did not draw attention from people but she was she drew the attention of God as Jesus himself says in the writings ok allora e questo l'aveva Capito, Santa Anita, quando chiede a lei la grazia della guarigione e dice tu sei potente davanti a Dio e Dio a te non può negare nulla. Ecco, and it's important what Father is saying here that Saint Hannibal had understood this and in fact he had asked through the intercession of Luisa for the grace of healing when he was sick before he passed away. So he had understood the greatness of Luisa and of the mission of Luisa and of the writings of Luisa. Uh, abbiamo ancora, credo, sette minuti prima che noi dobbiamo prepararci per la Santa Messa. Allora faccio un'altra domanda di quelle che ho preparato con una raccomandazione, padre. Frasi corte, così ho la possibilità di tradurle. I'm going to ask... Io potete esprimere il mio pensiero, non faccio ad esprimerlo a Signore. No? Sì, per la traduzione deve essere così. Allora, we're going to ask another question. Uh, and the question is uh, listed, and it says, Why is it important that priests teach the divine will? Perché è importante che i sacerdoti insegnino la divina volontà? Beh, più che insegnare la divina volontà, è il custode della divina volontà. Father says, more than the teacher of the divine will, the priest is the custodian of the divine will. Perché il Signore ha dato ai sacerdoti la facoltà della verifica. Because uh, Jesus had to give to priests the faculty, the authority to verify the truths. E aveva detto a Luisa di essere sempre sottomesso alla loro autorità sacerdotale perché sono la sua continuazione del sacerdozio nel mondo. And uh, Jesus wanted Luisa to be always submitted to priestly authority because they are the continuation of Jesus' priesthood in the world. Poi disse che il dono dato è così grande ed importante che aveva bisogno di una continua custodia Then, e questa custodia la dovevano esercitare i sacerdoti. Then he said that the gift he was giving uh, to Luisa and to humanity through Luisa was so great that he needed uh, custody and protection and this was to be provided by the priests who were uh, the priests was supposed to be the custodian of the writings. In fact, Luisa had ordinary confessors who, one after the other, named by bishops, uh, were uh, the custodians of the writings and of the truths that Jesus was giving to Luisa. Dunque, Luisa, fino all'ultimo istante della sua vita, è vissuta sotto l'autorità sacerdotale ed è morta tra le braccia di un sacerdote. Up to the last moment of her life, Luisa always lived in obedience to priestly authority and she died in the arms of her last professor, Father Benedetto Calvi. Ora, eh, questa è Luisa. Luisa è una donna cattolica, sottomessa all'autorità della Chiesa. Ora, eh, tutto ciò che lei ha scritto e ha detto di essere interpretati alla, alla luce del Vangelo e, della, e del Magistero della Chiesa so, eh, e non riuscire mai da questi binari chi esce da questi binari certamente sbaglia è la, non è Luisa 
He's stressing that Luisa is a daughter of the Catholic Church, has always been submitted to the authority of the Catholic Church, to priests, and all, everything that it, uh, she says and everything that is written in the, in the writings must be seen in light of the truths of the gospel of the magisterium of the church. And anyone who goes out of these boundaries is definitely committing an error, mistake. Post, uh, we can ask another question. Maybe we have four minutes. Let's see. How do we bring unity in the divine will? La domanda è, è questa qui, padre. Come possiamo essere promotori di unità nella divina volontà? Con la preghiera. Bisogna cercarla nella preghiera. First of all, Father, Father says, unity must be sought of through prayer, by prayer. Perché noi abbiamo i movimenti che si ispirano alla divina volontà. Because Ma non so quanti anime vivono la divina volontà. Uh, Io finora ne ho conosciuto due soltanto. Cioè, Luisa e Gia Rosario. Degli altri non ne ho conosciuto. Father says, because there's many movements that are inspired by the doctrine of the living and the divine will, but who knows if there are souls who live in the divine will. Father says, up until now, I have known two. <laughs> uh, Luisa and Aunt Rosaria, his aunt, who was the caretaker, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, assistant of Luisa. È necessario un cammino di fede. It is necessary to undergo and to follow a profound journey of faith. Vissuta nella umiltà, Lived nella piena e nella sottomissione all'autorità della Chiesa. In prayer and in obedience, submission to the authority of the Church. Grazie, Padre. Dunque, well, i gruppi devono uh, vivere questa entità, questo cammino, e poi il Signore farà il resto. So then, uh, uh, the groups, as the one that is gathered here today, must live uh, with this dispositions, this aspiration, and then the Lord will do the rest. E certo che il Signore vuole questo cammino. It is true and it's certain that the Lord wants this path, this journey to be followed by souls. I frutti li coglieranno stesso. He himself uh, will uh, reap the fruits. Grazie, Padre. Mm. Uh, e allora, che c'è adesso? Um, should we continue with another question? I don't know if Father is here, or should we stop? Or? We better get going? Okay. Uh, la ringraziamo, Padre, tantissimo. Noi ci prepariamo alla Santa Messa. E ci, certamente e ci vediamo should we um, say when we're going to meet him again our time ok padre eh, il prossimo appuntamento se lei è disponibile con lo skype in questa stessa maniera dovrebbe essere alle 8 di sera di Corato è, è possibile? Marina, noi avevamo concordato, uh, we agreed with, we are also with Father Celso for our three appointments via Skype, but if you agree, we may, we may do two appointments, the first one is this, and the second one for tomorrow at 8 p.m. Italian, uh, Italian time, okay? Okay, let me, uh, did you hear that, Father? Uh, the, um, the original schedule was, was for three talks. Yes. He's saying that uh, if you agree, uh, he would like to do uh, two. One today and the next one tomorrow. Okay. Uh, a che ora, ora italiana, domani? At 8 p.m., is okay? Uh, 8, che sarebbero uh, uh, 5 ore in meno, quindi alle, alle 3 del pomeriggio. Okay. Uh, if, you, if you want, if you prefer, we may, we may change, we may anticipate or participate the appointment. It's, it's not a problem for us.
No, no, va benissimo. Oh. Your meeting is that tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, we, we have to pray. Yeah, abbiamo la messa alle 7 domani pomeriggio, quindi dalle 7 alle 8 abbiamo una messa e poi dopo le 8 possiamo uh, fare, ci possiamo sentire via Skype, anche magari allungando l'appuntamento possiamo farlo di un'ora. Okay. Okay. No, no, domani. Questa sera non mi avete più niente? Marina? Sì, padre. Allora mi dice padre Celso che domani alle vostre 8 di sera non è possibile perché noi non saremo qui, il ritiro finisce. Quindi sarebbe meglio farlo today. oggi. Grazie. Oppure domani però molto prima. Eh, ora è di solo ora. Ok, a che ora per la vita, Marina? Uh, un attimo che guardo. Um, the ideal schedule for tomorrow would be uh, 2 p.m. your time. Okay. Uh, 2 p.m. our time is uh, so difficult for us, but uh, maybe 3 p.m. Italian time, is that okay for you? Uh, he can do... Uh, A quell'ora c'è la messa e quindi il padre dice che è difficile per noi. Marina, questa sera c'è più niente? Eh? Sì, allora se domani non è possibile si può fare questa sera. Questa sera eh, alle 8 di sera vostre. Ok, alle 8 di questa sera? 8 a.m. Veritano, which would be? Esatto. E poi magari possiamo fare domani mattina per le 12 ore italiano un saluto, però temo che sia troppo presto per voi le 12 ore italiano domani. Sì, è troppo presto. Allora eh, restiamo alle 8 di sera vostre stasera, ok? Ok, perfetto. Alle 8 di sera vostre. Ok, perfetto, ci sentiamo dopo ancora. Grazie. E ci salutiamo. Eh? Grazie padre, he sends his greetings to all of you eh. and... Uh, Ok, Ok, Ok. Le persone domani così lo parliamo. Ora vi do la benedizione a tutti quanti. Now he's giving you his blessing. He's giving us his blessing. Posso Corinthia? Sì, padre. Il Signore sia con voi. The Lord be with you. La benedizione di Dio Padre Onnipotente scende su di voi, Padre, Figlio e Spirito Santo, su Amen. tutte le vostre famiglie e su tutti i vostri bisogni. Grazie. Amen. 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 Grazie, padre. A stasera. È un centinaio, padre. Possiamo vedere il quadro? Ah, lui vuole vedere il quadro. Bene, peace and all good to all of you. Grazie. All right, we are going to move on to our closing prayer. Um, it was such a blessing to have had Father Bucci live. And as you could hear in real time, there was uh, some schedule changes that needed to happen. But uh, as you saw from the pictures, Father Celso and Father Bucci were very good friends. And Father Bucci was the last priest living uh, to have personally known uh, Luisa. And uh, so it's a great gift to have uh, the connection from Luisa to Father Bucci, to Father Celso, to us. I can't think of a better way to learn about the divine will. Fiat amen until uh, Monday when we continue the commanding in the divine will. Dearest Lord Jesus, 
I thank you for your lessons of today. Free me from living one single instant outside of your will. Have pity on me and do not permit that I either know or acquire any other life except that of your divine will. Fiat et Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.